Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Leticia Pereiron. I am the language coordinator of the ABCD, which is Association um, for Brazilian Bilingual Children's Development. We teach Brazilian Portuguese. And I'm here today to show you some resources to teach uh, online uh, with your students. Simple things, easy. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to use uh, paint for two games. Let me share the screen with you. Um, I'm gonna, this is paint, trying to draw, and I decided to get from the web. So this is paint, it's colorful, it's fun. If you don't have a whiteboard, Zoom has its own whiteboard, but if the platform you teach doesn't have it, you can use this uh, as a whiteboard. So you just uh, select text type and you can write whatever you need, you can. But I just went to Google and I got this um, image. I just pushed my right uh, button of my mouse and I copied the picture and I, and I have it here, the picture. So what I brought from the web was a bingo um, table. I tried to draw one, I'm lousy at drawing, so I just decided to use from the web. This is just an example of something you can do with your students. If imagine you are working uh, food, food vocab with them. So you give them a whole list. I'm going to write here. You give them a whole list of veggies like tomato and then uh, lettuce and potatoes and whatever. And then you can have a whole list of food and they will have to draw or write depending on the level. They can draw their own table on a piece of paper at home and you can play bingo with them. If your students are um, uh, old enough to write, ask them to write the, the, the word, otherwise just uh, ask them to draw like a uh, carrot and then they draw a carrot. But again, give them more options so they have options to draw or write, and then you can play bingo. You say all the words that you suggested, and uh, they will have bingo when they filled uh, their table. Okay, this is this was supposed to be quick. I do want to show you how to uh, play hangman. So let me get rid of. I'm just gonna select. I'm going to select my table and I'm going to um, get everything white again. Now I'm going to go to Google and I am going to ask for a hangman. Again, I am in images. I am going to use my right bottom of the mouse and then I click that and I have a whole list of uh, tools. I'm going to click on copy image and I done, I've done it. So I go back to my paint and I'm going to use Ctrl V which is the copy of the image so I don't want it I want a bigger I want a bigger image this is too small for me but now I don't want the little man so what I'm going to do is I select select and I using using the mouse I am going to select the little man and click delete and I don't have the man anymore so now let's imagine I'm working fruit, fruit vocab with my students and I want them, I, I did my class, I taught everything I was supposed to, so now it's time for some fun games because, you know, they are kids. So um, they're children, they deserve to have some fun, right? So I'm gonna use these lines here and I'm, I'm guessing that I'm gonna have the word banana. You can use any color, you just choose a color, make sure uh, you choose the color number one, otherwise, it's not going to be here. So uh, if you choose to be neat, you have to have some time. If your students are getting impatient, you are not going to be that neat. You just use the lines for the word banana. And there you go. But again, I selected the line tool. Now I want the text. So tell them to start uh, saying letters, as I teach Portuguese, we start by vowel, and I always tell my students, start by the vowels, because a Brazilian uh, Portuguese word always has lots of vowels. And I already selected a very big, a large font, so my students can see what I'm doing, and they start with the letter A. So again, I'm going to use here, but I don't want here, 
I want as the second letter because my word is banana. So I am gonna ta, 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 banana and another one, banana. So I have the text selected. Look, I have the text selected. Now my students say, for example, O, and I don't have O in the word banana. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, I have a text selected, I'm gonna write O here, but now I need to start drawing my little man. So you have two options here. You can actually draw it, go draw it, go to a brush, get a brush and try to draw a head. As I told you, I'm not that very good at drawing. So I'm gonna push Ctrl Z and I don't have that anymore. I have this that I wanna use. I want a circle for my head. So I, I select this one. And I, using the mouse, I have a beautiful head. Now I'm going to have my students ask, uh, say another letter. Let's imagine they say E, and I don't have E. So I'm going to get this uh, uh, tool, write it. I'm going to write E here. And there you go. I have to come back home, get my line to start drawing the body because I don't have E. And then imagine they say, I, I don't have I, so I'm gonna write it here. And they finally say you, I don't have you, so done with the vowels. Now they finally say B, oh, there you go. I have B, so I'm gonna type B here. And now they say C, I don't have C, so I'm gonna go back to the line and draw the little R. And then they found out that it's banana. So they will probably say N. So I go back to my letter and I type N, N, another N, and we have the word banana and done. Now they wanna have a second turn. So all you have to do is select, select everything you wanna draw, I mean erase and delete and it's done. I'm gonna select these vowels and delete on the top. And now I'm gonna try to delete my man again and delete, but now I have a little piece of his head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the rubber and I'm gonna erase. And I'm gonna erase. Again, you can select and just delete or you just erase and done. Ready for the next word. So I'm ready for the next word. All do I do is select what you need again. You have the rubber selected, so you're gonna get another line. Now I don't want orange, I want uh, green. So look, I changed, no, I don't want a green, I want red. So again, color one, and I have my line selected. So I'm gonna, I wanna uh, five lines because my next word is apple. So I need five, and there you go, you can play again, okay? So this is uh, paint. Very simple, you have tools here, you have circles, you have lines, you have even some uh, bubbles and you have the um, brushes and you can have the erase and the letters to write. If you wanna do some corrections, may maybe your students are a bit older, they just want to see some corrections on the board. So you select everything, you delete, and then you can do some corrections by writing here, Apple. Oh, it's too big. My, my font is too big. So I select with the mouse and I go here and I want maybe font 18. Done. Beautiful. Okay. So I want to share something else now. I'm going to share something that you can use, uh, you can find in Slide Mania, right? Fun uh, slides for your class. Look, it's a fairy wheel. Um, and you can grab from Slide Mania. You can write whatever you have, like the agenda for today. Uh, then you have whatever you need, write a to-do list, and then you have balloons. Imagine you are working with the colors. So why not using this? So you have the balloons, you want to write the balloon, you ask your student, what is this balloon? Uh, what is the color of this balloon? They will say blue. And then which one is this? Green. What about this one? Pink. And then you have beautiful slides again on slide mania. And there is one more thing I wanna share with you today, which I think it's awesome for students. They love it. It's the 
uh, let me find it here, the world wall. Look at this. This is a, a website that you go for online resources and you find a quiz. Let's start with a quiz. I found a quiz. So I'm going to write my question for my quiz. Um, create activity. And I have, I want a quiz. So I'm going to ask the question, what is the color of the sky? Okay. And then I'm going to write the answers here. The answer is here. Red. Uh, green, pink, and uh, blue, and uh, what? Yellow, and orange. You can do whatever uh, topic you want. Just showing you how to use the quiz. So you don't forget to click on the red one, the right one, and there you go. Done. Look how beautiful it is. Saving activity. And now I have, you can ask many questions as you want. And I'm going to start. What is the color of the sky? And then if you, if you have the, the power on your platform to allow your students to use it, Zoom does it. If you're using Zoom, you can enable your students to, to use the, uh, the screen so they can actually do it. So they go there and tick and that's done. Now, I want to show you something else. You have the quiz, but the same question can be used for maze chase. Amazing. Look at that. It's like a video game. And again, if your students are able to touch the screen and do and play the game, they will have to grab this little man and find blue because the question is, what is this, the color of the sky? So they have, I'm taking the little man before it's eaten to blue. Amazing, isn't it? And also, if you have a girl class, maybe they are not getting to video games, you go to Enneagram, which is, what is the color of the sky? Again, if you have four or five questions, you will have four or five questions here. So now you let them, students, let them drag the letter over here. They have, to, if, if they can, you can do it. Them, but that would be fun if they do it. And done. Okay, so this is Word um, Wall. You get it, the resource online and just keep start using it. It's not hard. You will see it. It's fun. And that's it. Thank you for watching.